Hey everybody, welcome to Physical Therapy Exam Prep, your great resource for preparing for the National Physical Therapy Exam. This is going to be a brief overview about how to decide or to determine the difference between acidosis and alkalosis as it refers to either metabolic or resp respiratory acidosis alkalosis. And so, again, brief overview, this is something that trips up a lot of people and something that I really hope we can help you with. Uh, maybe create a, a simpler way to view the whole thing rather than just trying to memorize everything, try to give you a really good systematic way to do it. All right, so the first thing you need to understand are the lab values associated with acidosis and alkalosis, these arterial blood gas values that come up. These are something that are things that are taken very quickly and easily in, in um, uh, during a, a standard lab test, arterial, arterial blood gas test. First of which, maybe the most important, is the pH, 7.35 to 7.45 very important to understand that that the blood must stay within those pH levels un otherwise strange things bad things start to happen to the human body so very important to be right there at at that particular level let's see uh, the, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide also very important to recognize 35 to 45 and remember that as you increase in partial pressure of CO2 it becomes more acidic just simply because you're adding more and more of those, um, more and more carbonic acid to the buffer system. So increasing the acidity of the blood as you add more and more uh, carbon dioxide. And then the converse is true for HCO3 CO3, or the bicarbonate. Now as you increase the amount of bicarbonate in the blood, then it becomes more basic. All right, so with that in mind, we're going to head to what I consider to be a, a an easy table, maybe something, again, if this helps, great. If it doesn't, you know, use your own way. But the, the first thing you do, step number one, is to look at the pH values. And so if you're given a pH value that is acidic, and so, you know, starting here at the very center and moving over here to the edge, if a lab value comes back with a an acidic pH value, then you know you need to, or, or basically just kick, categorize that away as an acidic pH value. So I'm just going to mark that on the line here. I don't have a specific value, but just let's say that we have an acidic pH value. So respiratory, or the partial pressure or the of the carbon dioxide, what you do is again you look and see how much carbon dioxide there is. Now you'll notice very quickly that I have the higher number over here and the lower number over here. As you remember, I told you that the more carbon dioxide you have, the more acidic your blood becomes. And so let's say that you've got a high level of carbon dioxide or the high high partial pressure of carbon dioxide in your blood. All right, so you take that, you've got acidic with the pH and then acidic again with the carbon dioxide. Now the third thing you do is you look at the bicarbonate. And so typically what will happen is that you've got bicarbonate on the opposite end of the spectrum if we're talking. So as you can see, we're, we're getting towards respiratory acidosis. All right, so the bicarbonate will be up on the other end of the scale, meaning the more bicarbonate makes it more basic. All right, so that's the third thing you do. Now, as we head into some examples here, I just want you to remember to go one, two, three, pH, partial pressure carbon dioxide, and then bicarbonate. All right, and then just to make things easy, I, I added just a, a quick little table here at the bottom to help you see. All right, but let's go through through an actual example. All right, so the, the numbers we get, I'll just write them over here to the side. So let's say we have a, a pH of 7.31. We have a partial pressure of carbon dioxide of 55 millimeters of mercury. And then we've got an, a bicarbonate level of 28. We'll say 28 milliequivalents of bicarbonate. OK, so we just, we're just going to go straight down the list. Number one, is it acidic or basic? And so as you see, 7.31, it's going to be on the acidic side of life. And so what I'm going to come down here is the pH is, I'm just going to put a big X right there, is acidic. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to look at respiratory or the, um, the respiratory side of life, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. As you come with 55, you'll notice again that it's on the acidic side. So maybe I'll put an X here, X here, and marking that it's acidic. And we're going to come down to the table, and then we're going to mark the partial pressure of, ox of carbon dioxide as being acidic. And so then the third thing, you can almost guess what's going to be going on here, is that with 28 milli equivalents, that's going to be all the way over here on the basic side of life. And so even in fact, it's not even quite 
basic. I guess what I want to say is that it's still within the acceptable range of 28. And so we're going to mark that as normal. Now, if it was even farther to the one to the other side, if it was even farther out of the normal range, then it would be really basic or classified as a full base. So in this case, we have the pH to the S over over acidic. We've got respiratory uh, or the partial pressure of carbon dioxide on the acidic side of life, and then we've got the bicarbonate on the slightly basic but not out of normal range. And so what you do is you take um, typically you'll have two of the columns will be lined up together. You take the one that's lined up with the pH, so if you've got the acid and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide, meaning so whichever whichever one, whether the carbon dioxide or the bicarbonate, whichever one is in the same column with the pH means that you have respiratory, so in this case we've got respiratory acidosis. Now, in this case, because the bicarbonate is still normal, it would be classified as uncompensated, meaning that the kidneys have not yet produced enough carbonate to compensate for the increase of acidity in the blood. So maybe a more acute condition rather than a, a chronic condition. So again, your first step is, is pH. Is it acid, normal, or base? Uh, partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Is it acid, normal, or base? And then you take that, do the same thing with bicarbonate. And then you line up the columns, whichever value, whether carbon dioxide or, or bicarbonate, is in the same column as the pH. So again, over here on this side, in this case, and we're going to do a couple of examples of, of other kinds. You take whichever one lines up with the pH, and that is how you determine whether it's respiratory, related to the partial pressure of carbon dioxide, or metabolic related to the uh, the levels of bicarbonate. All right, so here let's let's go to another example. Let's say that you've got a basic, or yeah, we'll go with a pH of 7.5. All right, so 7.5, you're going to come down here, you're going to look at pH, and you're like, yes, that is definitely basic. All right, now just to keep things simple, we're also going to put the partial pressure of carbon dioxide at 30 millimeters of mercury. So again, outside the range, over here on the basic column. So we're going to mark down basic for the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Now what we're going to do is we're also going to say what the car bicarbonate level is. We're going to say that's 20 milli equivalents, which is outside the normal range, so on the acidic level. All right, so again, what you're going to do is you're going to look, going to look for the column with two X's in it, or the pH plus whichever one else is there. And then, all right, so we're going to write that down. We've got respiratory alkalosis. Hope you can see how I got that. You take, line up the pH with the partial pressure of carbon dioxide, respiratory alkalosis. And then you look at what the bicarbonate is doing in this case. It is, it has compensated and is out of the normal range. And so in this case, you'd say compensated. Awesome. Okay. So compensated respiratory alkalosis. Hopefully this is nice and clear and easy. A good way to help remember it. Uh, maybe one of the key things again to remember is that this you're putting each of these scales from more acidic to more uh, basic or I guess alkaline. Uh, alkaline. And so this is where the respiratory or the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is backwards. Let's get another example. All right, so let's say we've got, um, okay, so the acid level or the pH, let's say we're down to 7.3, so we are acidic for sure. We're going to write that down here in the acid column. And then let's say that we've got the respiratory or the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Let's say that it's up, up right up here at 35 millimeters of mercury. So again, right here at the end of the range, and we're going to we're going to classify that as normal, but recognize that it is at the end of, or the more basic end of the range. And then down on this end, let's say we again we've got 20 milli equivalents of bicarbonate, so on the acidic level. So in this case, because we have the pH lined up with the bicarbonate, this is going to be metabolic acidosis. And because the 
the partial pressure of carbon dioxide has not compensated out of its normal range, therefore we consider that it is uncompensated. Awesome. So again, just to review the steps. Step one, you put the pH in acid versus basic column. Step two is you look at carbon dioxide versus bicar and bicarbonate, and you try to decide if those are acidic or basic. And then whichever one lines up with the pH, so in this case the bicarbonate lines up with the pH, then you know that it is metabolic. Remember, metabolic would be associated with the bicarbonate. And then respiratory would be associated with the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. So once you line up the pH with either the bicarbonate or the partial pressure of carbon dioxide, then you look at the other one, whichever one doesn't line up, and decide whether it is compensated or not compensated. So there you go. Real quick uh, primer on how to, how to put together respiratory versus metabolic acidosis alkalosis. Hope you enjoyed. Please uh, feel free to visit physicaltherapyexamprep.com for lots more information for the National Physical Therapy Exam. Thank you.